Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is Maximize Happiness of Selected Children. So in this question, we're given an array called happiness of length n. We're also given a positive integer k. So n represents the number of children standing in a queue where i child has the happiness value of happiness of i. And we have to select k children from these n children in k turns. So k represents the number of turns we have to do in each turn, you have to follow this operation. When you select a child, the happiness value of the children that have not been selected till now decreases by one. So in each turn, the non-selected children's happiness is decreased by one. And note that this happiness value cannot become negative and it is only decremented if it is positive. So it means happiness value cannot go less than zero because you are decrementing in each turn by minus one and it can go into a negative value. So that should be avoided. Happiness cannot be negative. And our task is to find the maximum sum of happiness values of the selected children you can achieve after selecting k children. So it means after k turns, what is the maximum happiness we have chosen? So this is the keyword. We have to choose the maximum sum of the happiness value. So to have the maximum sum, you have to pick the maximum happiness value in every turn. So these are the three examples given to us. So let's take a look at them. So we know that we have to perform two turns. So in the first turn, so let me name it T1. In the first turn, I keep track of the max value. Max is equal to 3 because I picked this. Uh, because I picked this, the rest of the numbers are decremented by 1. So 1 becomes 0 and 2 becomes 1. And now we have to perform T2. So in T2, I pick the maximum which is present here. So max, which was 3, will now become 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. And the rest of the value since we picked this, we have to decrement this, but that is already zero. It cannot be negative, right? As they mentioned. So it had to be minus one, but since it is going to be a negative value, it will become zero. And now we finish the two turns. And what is the maximum value we got? Maximum value is equal to four. So four will be your output for this example. So how are you going to do that? So what did you do? You always pick the maximum operation. And in this case, this array is sorted. So maximum is present in the last index. Here also it is sorted, it is present in the last index. Here also it is sorted, it is present in the last index. But here in this case, if you look, the maximum is present here. So how will you pick the maximum value? So to perform this greedy operation of picking the maximum value each time, you have to sort this happiness array in ascending order. In these three cases, the array is already sorted. So it is working as you pick the maximum value from the behind. The value in the behind is 62, but it is not maximum, 83 is maximum. So I sort this array in ascending order and now the maximum value is always present in there. Similarly for this, you have to sort the array in ascending order and now the maximum values will be present from the right to left. So that is the first observation. You have to sort the array in ascending order. So here, as you can see, I'm sorting the array in ascending order. And now this is the tricky part. Here they mentioned the children in a queue. So you might think you have to use a queue. So it is better to use a stack because you have to pick the maximum value. So after sorting, I add this array elements into the stack one by one. So I start from left to right, I iterate, one will be added. The next iteration, two will be added. In the next iteration, three will be added. So I use a stack. Now I know the maximum value is present at the top of the stack. So I create a variable max, which is initially zero. And so I pop the top of the stack and store it inside a variable current. I'll check if this current variable is greater than zero because uh, we cannot decrement them. So current is three. So I add this three into the max variable and K was two, right? And now K is one. And now in the next iteration, this element and this element have to be reduced by one. So this was popped from the stack, right? So remove this element from the stack. So this will be decremented by one and this will be decremented by one. And now again, I pop the top of the element from the stack. Check if this value is greater than zero. Yes, it is greater than zero. The current element is one and one will be added to the max value. So max is now one and k is now zero. As soon as k is zero, we finish the iteration. Whatever is present inside max will be returned as the output. Now let's take a look at the code and then do a dry run for one of these examples. So here, as you can see, I created a stack and I'm adding all the elements from the happiness array into the stack after sorting them. And now I keep track of the max variable, which is initially zero. And now I use a index i to subtract in which iteration have to reduce the current value. So like I said, so let's take the final example. You can also try it for the fourth example. So we have the happiness array 12, 1 and 42 and k is equal to 3. So after sorting this happiness array, the happiness array will look like this. Now I add all these elements into the stack. 
now let's iterate through the sorted array from left to right so i add the first element into the stack and the stack elements will be added on top so we have the stack ready after adding all the elements and now i keep track of a variable max so max is the output we have to return which is initially zero and i keep track of index zero so that i know in every iteration how much i have to subtract from the current element so i run a while loop until k is not equal to zero so k is initially three now i pop the current element so i keep track of variable current so current will be the top of the stack so i pop it so after popping this element will be removed from the stack now current is 42 i check if current minus i i is initially zero so 42 minus 0 is 42 check if it is greater than 0 yes so add that into the stack so current minus i will be added into the stack so 42 will be added and now in before starting the next iteration i increment i to 1 so i will be now 1 so that these rest of the elements have to be subtracted by i value so i is now 1 right so instead of directly subtracting them and storing them i keep track of how much i have to subtract so this i variable will do that job how much i have to subtract from the current now take the current element again now k minus minus will decrement k k is now 2 check if stack is not empty yes stack is not empty now take the top of the element as the stack pop it from the stack so current element is 12 and 12 will be removed from the stack now check if current minus i current minus i is 11 so 12 minus 1 is 11 because every iteration we have to subtract that happiness value by 1 so i is now 1. We check if 11 is greater than 0. Yes, 11 is greater than 0. So add this 11 into the stack. 11 is current minus i. So, so add that 11 into max. So max will be added with the value 11. And now again before starting the next iteration, increment i. i will be incremented by 1. So in the next iteration, we have to subtract the remaining elements by 2. And now k minus minus k is now 1. The stack is still not empty. So this will be the current element. So current element is 1. So add remove this element from the stack now check if current minus i what is the value of i it's 2 so current 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1 check if this minus 1 is greater than 0 not minus 1 is not greater than 0 so this value won't be added into the max variable so this will be skipped and now we increment i i is equal to 3 and now in the next iteration k is equal to 0 as soon as k is equal to 0 we end the iteration and whatever is present inside this variable max max has the value 53 so 53 is the output for this example so max will be returned as the output do a dry run for these five examples you will know clearly how the flow is working so these are the corner cases where k is equal to 3 and you have a value 1 you will know which elements to remove and these are the standard cases where k value is given and the happiness array is already sorted so these are the critical cases so coming to the time complexity, the time complexity is O of n log n because we're sorting the input array in ascending order. So happiness array is sorted and this is for iterating through the array. So total is big O of n log n and the space complexity is also O of n because we're using a stack to store our uh, input array. So all elements inside the happiness array will be stored inside the stack initially. So n is the length of the happiness array. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.